guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. And I am here today with another Bake It and Taste It from Trader Joe's. I've done a couple of these videos before and I'll make sure to link them in the description box. I've done one for their Blondie mix and also for their Lemon Bar mix. And today I am going to try out their Cinnamon and Sugar Muffin and Baking mix. So let me turn it over on the side so you can see what you'll need. In order to make the muffins, you're just gonna need some water, an egg, and some butter. Now there is a variation for the cinnamon coffee cake in it, and you, I'm sorry, you add a few more ingredients to that. Um, and this mix is supposed to be, it says here, it makes a light and fluffy muffin with the flavor of a donut. So the only variation that I'm making from the cinnamon sugar muffins is that instead of making 12 muffins, since it's just my husband and I and our little baby, but he's not eating any muffins, is that I'm going to make these into six jumbo muffins because 12 mu muffins for two people seems a little bit overwhelming for me. So, and because I'm making jumbo muffins, I'm going to set my oven temperature at 350 since they're gonna be a little bit bigger um, instead of 400. So, let's get started. All right, I've opened up the box and it comes with the baking mix and it also comes with the cinnamon and sugar mix, which we'll add at the end. And I forgot to mention, in order to uh, put on the cinnamon sugar mix on the muffins at the end, you're gonna need six tablespoons of butter, but I'll show you that in a little bit. So I'm just gonna open up the baking mix. And add it to my bowl. And next, I'm going to add in three fourths of a cup of water. And my egg. And you can mix this by hand or with the mixer. I'm just gonna mix it by hand. Okay. So I'm finished mixing all of this up. I tried my best to mash out the larger lumps. There's a few tiny lumps in there, but that's okay. They'll bake out. So now I'm just going to fill up my muffin tins. All right, so I have all of my muffin tins um, filled and I'm gonna pop these in the oven for about half an hour. Again, I'm baking mine at 350 because I'm making jumbo muffins instead of 400. So I'm gonna pop these in and they should be ready in about half an hour. Hey guys, so my muffins are out of the oven. I ended up baking them for about 33 minutes. So next steps are to dip your muffins into butter and then the cinnamon sugar mixture, which I already have in bowls, as you can see right here. Now I chose to bake mine in muffin cups just to make cleanup easier. And so because I did bake them in muffin, muffin cups, excuse me, uh, I can't dip these in the butter without soaking up everything else. So I have a little brush here and I am just going to brush my butter on top. Oops, still got a little bit much in there. And then I'm just gonna sprinkle my cinnamon sugar mixture right over it. And shake off the excess. I'm just shaking off the excess. And I will say these feel pretty heavy. Um, I know it said light and fluffy, but I'm not getting a light and fluffy just now. It may be different when I uh, cut it open. And I will say also, I don't really think you need six tablespoons of butter. And I am using unsalted butter. Um, but I think that's way too much butter to use. I'm gonna have to find another use for it because I don't want all that butter to go to waste. I think you could probably get away with a good two to three tablespoons of butter. Okay, so here's my last muffin. 
and I'm gonna cut it open for you guys so you can see what it looks like on the inside. I probably could have let it cool a little bit more as you can see it's sticking to the paper a little bit, but I'm hungry. So let me cut it open. And here's what it looks like on the inside. Like I said, mine's stuck because it's not cool enough for me to have actually cut it open. Let me taste a little bit for you guys. I will say that this does not taste light and fluffy to me. It tastes kind of heavy. It has more of a cake donut texture, not necessarily a yeast donut texture. But it does have a good flavor, a nice cinnamon sugar flavor. So if you prefer a heavier muffin, um, this is pretty dense. If you prefer a heavier muffin, you would probably like it. It's more of a pound cake texture, not light and fluffy at all. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, I certainly hope you'll do so. Thanks so much for watching. See you guys next time.